In two live streams from Elon Homecoming concert performer T-Pain, the artist claimed fire safety as the reason for not allowing more people into the Shar Center for his performance. Our Grace Morris investigated his claims. Elon's homecoming performer T-Pain certainly rocked the house over the weekend. <clears throat> Not only with his performance, but with some statements he made on an Instagram live stream after the show. So the fire marshal was like, okay, you can only fill up, you can only put 600 people on the floor now. If you're going to cut off all the fire alarms, you can only put 600 people on the floor. You can't sell anything past the lower bowl. T-Pain's manager echoed these sentiments with an official statement as well saying, quote, T-Pain has nothing against Elon. He had fun, loved the energy and vibe of the show, and he wishes the fire marshal didn't stop letting kids in. But the Elon fire chief, Alva Sizemore, says this isn't true. As far as the seats all the way around the gym, they could have filled it up. That was just the people on the floor that it was limited to. Looked like to me, if I had to guess, it was maybe 300, maybe 400 total there. So um, they, didn't even, they didn't even meet the quota of the 600 on the gym floor. T-Pain also went to McGurk's Pub and Grill after the show. He said in his live stream he didn't shake hands with anyone for fear of getting the mumps. But his server at McGurk's, Jared Goldberg, says it goes deeper than that. People were taking videos that were, and they were kind of criticizing him, and he really was, probably would have taken pictures after if people didn't bother him the entire time. So I told him at one point, I said, look, they're trying to make you look bad. Honestly, it's probably because they're intoxicated. Just say you don't want to shake hands because of the mumps. Like, it'll honestly look better for you. Grace Morris, Elon Local News. Elon News Network has contacted several members of the Student Union Board, but they have not returned our request for comment. In addition, the Office of Student Life and University Communications have both said they have no comment.